Hey, we want to give a quick update on our Launching a Legacy initiative. And if you're new or you missed the series back in November when we did Launching a Legacy or missed any of our updates, our Launching a Legacy initiative is all about South Point building its first permanent campus. And we've been saying since the beginning, our first permanent campus isn't about comfort or convenience. Our first permanent campus is about launching Jesus-led life change out into our community so that we continue to impact generations to come, that we would leave a legacy worthy of honoring Jesus. And so this morning, here's what we want to do. We want to give you a quick, brief update, both kind of where we are with construction and kind of where we are financially. And so I want to go to our first slide here and kind of say, hey, here are some of the construction requirements. And kind of the first one is the major site plan approval. It's been submitted. We've got everything back. We gave them our responses. They gave it back. We responded. We have what's called conditional approval, which means is we've worked with all the agencies and we've got approvals. Now we just need to go through the procedural process to get everything stamped and do that. That should be finished in the next 30 days. We're fired up about that. We're really excited. Um, Yes, be excited. I got some good news coming at the end here. So hold on. Um, A general contractors selected. Um, One of the things that we've been doing is we've interviewed multiple contractors, some that are local, some that are not. Um, And final bids are due in in less than 10 days, about 10 days from now. Uh, So we'll be able to select that. Um, And then financing approved. One of the things that we need to have approval for finances is we need a final bid from from a contractor. And so that's part of the process. And then all the lenders we've talked to have all said this, lending is always based on giving. And so today we want to kind of give you an update of where we're at financially. And everyone smile, smile, everyone smile. okay. What does it take to build a building? And what's the least favorite subject to talk about of money in church? Money. Okay, so let's just all smile. Let's just be easy, right? And so I want to give everyone kind of a financial update of where we are. When we launched this back in October, November, we have about 1.8 million pledged to do our building. Um, that would equal about if we everyone gave what they said they would. At the end of this month, we'd have almost $700,000, 699, 400, right? And what we've actually received um, up until Saturday, the given amount has been 637, 670 dollars. There's about a 61 thousand dollar difference. Um, so we're really tracking pretty well. We're pretty close. We're just a little bit short. But again, I want to kind of make it clear and I just want to be very honest and transparent is is that regardless of the lender we go with, most of them all have a percentage of the project that they're going to want us to have received. Um, And so lending is based on giving. Uh, So they'll want us to have about $800,000 in. The good news is between our cash reserves and what's given is we're really, really close. And so I want to look everyone in the eye at Lusby here or online. If you call South Point your home and you've given sacrificially and with a generous heart to our Launching Legacy initiative. Um, We are really, really um, grateful. Um, And so I want to kind of give a breakdown of kind of what that looks like. And so we're going to put up a little thing. And so originally when we first launched this in October number, we had about 226 donors make pledges. um, And about 47% of those, we've received the full pledges, kind of like people have done what they said they were going to do. About 34% of the pledges have been partial for some reason. You know, life happens. We all get it. We miss a Sunday. Uh, We get an unexpected bill. And so we have about 34% partial pledges. And then about 19% made pledges, but there was zero given towards the pledge amount. And so that's kind of where we've been at. And I know we live in kind of a naval-based community where there's a lot of engineers. And so all the mathematicians are going, man, 53% um, really haven't mastered pledges. Um, How are we doing so well? And the good news is, is that we've had 93 donors who typically haven't made a pledge, but are giving every month. And so um, we're doing pretty well. And here's what I want to say. Again, thank you for your generosity. It is sacrificial. Um, We don't want to guilt or shame or do any of those things here. So we're really grateful. But here's kind of the thing that I think we worry. Hey, we're doing so good. Listen, South Point doesn't really need me to keep giving. South Point doesn't need me to be like sacrificially giving. South Point is doing well enough. I can just kind of ease back. And nothing would be further from the truth, especially as we go into the lending process and the construction process. The urgency of every gift really, really matters in the next little bit and all the way through the next 18 to 24 months. And so please don't believe the lie that your your portion doesn't matter because it does. And when you give, and we have five ways to give, you can give through the kiosk out there, you can text to give, you can give on our website, you can automate your giving online, or you can give in service. And if you do that to Launching a Legacy, please identify Launching a Legacy so that we know where their resources go. We're so grateful. But I do have some good news, and I couldn't wait to get to this point part of the update. I do have some good news. We're going to bring up the next slide. You guys are going to be fired up. We have a groundbreaking ceremony coming up. 
Okay, y'all must have not heard me because that, that was a little weak. That was like first service. I mean, can we do like second service awesomeness? Like, we have a groundbreaking ceremony coming November 2nd. Get fired up. So we want you to be there. It's going to be an awesome party. You're not going to miss it. We're going to have stuff for kids and teens. It's going to be a whole family event, times and stuff that will be followed. But we're going to ask that you would mark your calendars now for that. It's going to be a great event. Encourage you to show up.